A Spring Hill, Kansas senior who died from a head injury after a football game is helping save lives. Nathan Stiles died in October 2010. Since then, his parents have worked to keep his legacy alive. Chris Morrison has the story. There's 16 in the case. This is part of the legacy of Nathan Stiles. Shortly after his death, his parents started the Nathan Project, which gives Bibles to churches, prisons, and other places. They want Nathan to save lives by saving souls. So all of this was because of a concussion. They also want him to save lives through science. They'll be featured in a CNN documentary Sunday night that will explore brain injuries in high school athletes. At the end of it, I can have a good understanding of what happened with Nathan and maybe the game plan that we have to improve things. Nathan died after a game in October 2010. Shortly afterward, his parents donated his brain to a group of doctors who are studying chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. It's caused by repeated blows to the head and currently can only be diagnosed after death. Doctors hope recognizing it earlier can save lives. It's been a tough year for Nathan's family, and it's been hard to talk about the science. But if it helps someone, you got to do it. How, how could you say no? And we knew how he felt. And if it could, Nathan was the kind of person, if he can help somebody else, he would always do it. Before what was to be Nathan's final game, no one saw signs that anything was wrong with him. I guess I've realized over this year, things don't always have to make sense, but they can still have a purpose. They hope their and Nathan's gift will help other families before it's too late. Chris Morrison, NBC Action News. And the documentary Big Hits Broken Dreams airs on CNN tomorrow night at 7.